Hey guys, this is Kip Fisternator, and today I am back doing another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we have something a bit special, it is not actually a set, but rather an exclusive minifigure. This figure is Darth Revan, and he is from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. He is a very rare figure who actually hasn't even been released uh, to the public yet. He is part of the May 4th and Revenge of the 5th celebration uh, promotion over at the LEGO store and at shop.lego.com. Whereas if you spend $75 or more on LEGO Star Wars products, then you can get him for free. But I managed to get this guy a bit early, and I wanted to do a review on on him so that you guys can decide for yourself if you want him. So, uh, pretty simple figure. What we, you, what you get in this set is just seven pieces, uh, as you can see from the packaging. And we're going to take a look at this first. So, as you can see, the new LEGO Star Wars logo at the top with Darth Vader. Seven pieces. And a very nice figure. Nice back. There's no translucent uh, cutaway where you can see inside the bag. So, um, you just kind of have to guess and hope he's in here, hope he's the actual figure. So, but also, he does come with a black cape, and you're going to want to make sure not to cut it if you are using scissors like I did, but thankfully I didn't cut him, which I'll show you later, so. Uh, he looks like in the corridor of a Separatist ship or something, or maybe even the Death Star, I'm not quite sure, but it looks pretty modern. So, uh, there's the bag, looks pretty simple, and then now on to the actual figure. So the figure, I'll just show you guys a quick 360. So nice black cape. Here, yeah, really good. And you gotta make sure, not, like I said, not to cut it. But it does feel pretty nice. Uh, he does come with a black hood, which is pretty useful. You can use this for really any Jedi if you want, or Sith. And now the head, many people thought from the initial images that the head would be black with this printed on, this design, but it's actually, with the mask printed on, sorry, but it's actually a gray, gray head, much like the Darth Vader head underneath his helmet, so, but either way it looks good, and the hood makes it appear kind of black, I suppose, but it does look pretty accurate. Now probably the coolest part here is the torso, and it's very detailed right here. So as you can see, he has his armor plating and straps going right there as well as it goes down towards the belt and even down to the legs. So the legs, as you can see, is his, uh, his comma, or skirt, I guess you could call it right here. You can see the lines there. And he does come with a red lightsaber with a silver chrome hint, hilt. Sorry. So uh, no back printing on the back of him, but it's not too big of a deal due to the cape covering it up. So dark red, almost maroon hands and torso uh, color. And just an all-around great figure. I've seen many custom figures of him, and they've all been pretty good, but it's great to have an official LEGO figure of him. So he is ages six, to, say just six and up, seven pieces, and there is no set number from what I can tell. So uh, very nice figure, cust uh, not a custom figure official. And you can get him May 4th or the 5th at your local LEGO store or online. So, and if you guys would just give me a minute, I'll read you some back background on him from Wikipedia. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back, and this is taken directly from Wik from Wikipedia, StarWars.Wikia.com, and his, he says, uh, Revan, known as the Revan Christ, uh, honored as the Revan, reviled as Revan the Butcher, dreaded as the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Revan, so those are all the names for him, and praised as the prodig Prodigal Knight, was a human male who, pr who played s pivotal roles as both Jedi and Sith in the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War, believed to have been born in the Outer Rim Territories. The man later known as Revan was born around the year 3994 BBY and studied under a number of different Jedi Masters as a Padawan of the Jedi Order. Becoming fast friends with a fellow student named Alec, the young man known became a Jedi Knight and was a vocal and charismatic critic of the Order's inactivity in the ongoing Mandalorian Wars between the Galactic Republic and the Mandalorian Warrior culture. So that is uh, some background information about him. So you can tell also the timeline that where he's from. And here's actually a picture of him underneath the mask. So he also... Uh, dark brown hair, dark brown eyes. Um, Old Republic era is when is when he's placed in. So if you guys have played the Old Republic or Knights of the Old Republic, you've probably seen him. He's a pretty prolific character and a good villain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and more are coming on the, on the way. So see you guys later. Bye.